Today's video is challenge number two for Next Top Nail Artist. This week was sponsored by Bio Seaweed Gel. We were asked to create five 3D nails using only gel inspired by their new collection, In Too Deep. I was inspired by one of the polish names, Treasure Chest. I decided to go with the pirate theme so I could make a skull, cause we all know how much I love skulls. And I'm scared of fish, so I wasn't making any of those. I created each side of the chest individually, and then pieced them together. To create the lid, I used a nail form and pinched it into a dome shape when placing it under the light. Once all my pieces had cured, I perfected the shape with an e-file. I attached the lid to the box and painted the chest brown. I used more sculpting gel to create the gold border around the edge of the chest. I did a couple of layers to give it some thickness and flash cured in between to make sure it didn't run all over the place. Once that was complete, I painted it with gold gel polish. I top coated all the gold borders and use the matte top coat on the brown to give it a matte wood-like finish. To create the coins, I mix some gold pigment into my gel. Once they had cured, I glued them in one by one until the chest was full. I used some rhinestones and an old necklace chain to add some more treasure. I used gel and some jump rings to make some different gemstones. I kept gluing on those and some more bling until the treasure chest was full. For the skull, I started to build it up on the back of a paintbrush. I continued to add more gel in order to build up the shape of the jaw. Once I had the basic shape built up, I used my e-file to perfect the shape and add in all the tiny little details. I painted my skull white and used a white sculpting gel for all the finishing touches. I sponged on different shades of grey paint in order to create some depth. I used my clear sculpting gel to lay out the basic shape for the face. Once that had cured, I painted it with the gel polish for her skin tone. I mix some of that color into a clear sculptor so I can start to build up the facial features. I did this in several layers, flash curing in between. Once I had my basic shape, I used my e-file to carve out all the details. I used acrylic paint paint in all the features and shadows on the face. I used the black sculpting gel to create the eye patch. I painted on two little crossbones and sealed it with the gel top coat. I made a base for the hat using clear gel. I mixed some brown gel polish into the clear sculptor to build up the rest of the shape. And once again, I used my e-file to carve in the details. On a nail form, I sculpted two platforms to use to build the hair on. I glued them to the side of the nail and used the black sculpting gel to build up the rest of the hair. And every pirate needs a hoop earring, so I glued on a large jump ring. I added some gold details to her hat, and of course, a giant white feather. For the rest of the nails, I used a cream color as a base, and sponged on different shades of brown to give it an old map appearance. I painted on the dots along the map, and added some pirate treasures along the way.
and these are the finished nails. So that's it for this challenge. Remember to check out all my social media sites. They'll be linked below and I'll also have the link where you can go and vote for me in this challenge and I will love you forever if you do. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.